All this week, five Eyewitness News anchor Megan Newquist and photojournalist Bill Medici have been sharing stories from Maui in the aftermath of that horrible wildfire. They have given us firsthand accounts of the August 8th fire that destroyed Lahaina Town. And tonight they follow a woman who was allowed to see what, if anything, was left of her business after that fire. And I did a quick look of it and put it back down, not realizing at the time that it was the building that Lahaina Loft was in. This was one of the first videos that surfaced on social media and in the news of burning buildings along Lahaina's historic Front Street. And it's the reality of what was happening was right there being shown over and over and over. The building on fire was home to Lahaina Loft, a business Denise Black opened in 2018. You must have been sick to your stomach watching it. Yeah, I can't even explain how I felt because I still don't even know how I feel. Like when I see it, it's somewhat surreal, but it's so real because it's ingrained in my head. Lahaina Loft was the city's only oceanfront event venue. Denise hosted weddings and celebrations for people from all around the world. She even hosted former Minnesota Viking Hercules Mata'afa's sister's wedding in 2019. When was the last time you saw your building? Um, three days before the fire. We met up with Denise in a parking lot just blocks from her business. She was going to see Lahaina Loft for the first time. What are you hoping to see today? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to see today or find. Immediately after the fire, the roughly five mile burn area was broken into zones. Homeowners were allowed past National Guard barricades first. Denise was not allowed in until four months after the fire. So you don't know if you'll be able to walk through the building. This doesn't sound like it. From my understanding, I could be on a look only. They're making you wear protective gear just to stand on the street. Yeah. What's the it's, reasoning behind the gear? Um, we have toxic ash. A lot of these buildings, well, all of them are historic buildings. So with a heavy heart, Denise and a friend set off to see what was left of Lahaina Loft. Later that day, we caught back up with Denise. When I got there, I started sobbing right away. And I'm like, I can't stand here and sob. The two-story building, now just a pile of charred rubble, with glimmers of what used to be. And I saw like the glass and I was like, there's stuff here. Were you surprised to find things? Totally. Years of happy times, so many memories, and this is all that is left. Gosh, the Hawaii Tourism Authority supported travel and access to Megan and Bill. And you can watch their series of reports, Maui Rising, all week on Minnesota Live starting at 9 a.m. here on 5 Eyewitness News.